average speed 10 miles per hour. That's because of an accident. The All good right. news is that up oh, we have a shot of a police chase right now. Yeah, um, we're. We're actually going to uh, go straight over to this, Rebecca. We apologize for the interruption, but uh, we are being told that this police chase is happening on the northeast side, 59 and Greens Road. And you can see that officers are really in hot pursuit here trying to catch up with that vehicle. Yeah, it looks like it's a gray sedan right there. He or she is definitely weaving in and out of traffic as uh, police officers there continue to pursue the vehicle. But traffic looks like it is becoming somewhat of an issue as you see people hit their uh, brake lights right there. We're up by the airport. You can see that one exit sign right. right there. So this is the East Tex Freeway. Looks like they are headed north at this point uh, with that vehicle now in that uh, far left lane. Don Armstrong has been uh, monitoring the situation. Uh, Don, what can you tell us right now? This vehicle looks like it's on the shoulder in it. And is it going to oh, bail out right here? On. Yep, they have suspects jumping into the HOV lane and then across the opposite lanes of traffic right in front of oncoming vehicles. You can see making it across and then jumping down. No telling how far that was right there. I know Don's doing the best he can to, to keep the camera on these two uh, men running right here. They just crossed the frontage road right there as well. Now they've made their way uh, into those tree, that tree line right there. It's, it's not clear what that area is, if there are some homes over there. Or that's just a business frontage road right there. Let's try to get Don Armstrong to explain what he's seeing. Don, I know you can't get too close to the airport. Well, uh, we are being held up right here, uh, as a matter of fact, because of airport traffic here, which is just to our north. Uh, we've been following this chase for about 60 seconds. We were on the other uh, fire or the uh, mm -hmm. uh, accident over there on the Beltway when we got word of this chase. And uh, obviously, this was headed northbound. We picked that up right there at Rankin. We're still waiting for uh, the police department to find uh, the runners from this chase that just took place and you saw uh, the car being parked over on the shoulder of 59 the east tex freeway here uh, you can see the police are there with the car and i'm sure that they uh, are in pursuit as we speak but i can't see any homes back in this area right now it looks just like woods to me uh, especially with the for sale sign this is pretty typical of uh, property that's for sale that doesn't have anything on it up here in the northeast side i can guarantee you that hpd will be on the scene momentarily well actually Cars have already started to show up here now off on the shoulder. Um, quite an exciting chase, uh, to say the least. I haven't seen one of these where they jump out on the freeway and across the other lane of traffic in quite some time. Very dangerous, as you can imagine. All of the freeway traffic here has come to uh, a pretty abrupt halt uh, right up here just past Rankin on 59 the East Tex Freeway, as you can tell. Yeah, uh, traffic-wise, they've got officers there at that vehicle that was abandoned. They're going to be using that and looking for evidence, so this is going to be causing a bit of a traffic nightmare that we'll be talking about throughout the rest of this hour. Um, but, Don, as you are being held back from this area because you can't enter uh, some of that airspace around Bush Airport, we can see some of the cruisers there pulling up as they're going to try to find this person in a very heavily wooded area. Have you seen um, any sort of a police or sheriff's department helicopter over, overhead, or are you the only one up there in the sky? Right now, we're the only ones up here. It takes a while for HPD to get off the ground from Hobby Airport and make their way all the way up here. But I guarantee you that the, the call has gone out for them to be here. The only problem is, once again, uh, Intercontinental Airport is just to our north. Matter of fact, I'll pull out and give you an idea where it is. There's the airport right over here. Right. And uh, so we're just right on the edge of one of the uh, landing runways. Okay, well, at least we do have now uh, police cruisers on scene and they can make, start making their way into that wooded area. I know we saw a couple of uh, police SUVs uh, turn left into that road, whether it being a driveway or something like that. So it looks like they are going to cordon on this area and then start a search for those two uh, men that we've just basically seen run across the highway and into that wooded area. Yeah, they're going to probably yeah, want to get won't some. Be... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Don. I was just going to say they won't be able to get away from this because HPD is very good about uh, cordoning off areas, and uh, they they are as well as caught right now. Yeah, yeah. and what was like, you know we look at these SUVs more than likely, Don. To speak to your point, these are probably going to be canine SUVs. Right. So once they were at least a couple of the dogs uh, in there, uh, we know that they're going to track those suspects down in that wooded area.
That's right, Eric. And as you know, that there's going to be uh, some sort of sniff evidence inside the car that they can uh, give to the dogs so they know what the dogs are looking for. Yeah, they're going to have to certainly rely on that because of that wooded area. So what a dramatic end to this chase. We don't often see, I know that you already said it, Don, we don't often see a chase come to an end on the middle of such a busy highway like this and then see those suspects run across the, uh, an HOV lane and then across oncoming traffic. They made it across. We'll have to get that video for you to show everyone if you're just now joining us uh, so we can show that again. However, it is going to be a traffic problem now because uh, we, we need to get evidence out of that vehicle. Those police officers are going to be up there where the vehicle is, which is still on the main lanes of traffic in your out or inbound, I'm sorry, outbound lanes, correct? That's right. Yeah, and it, yeah, it looks well, at this the, point. The car, is the, the car is over here on the outbound or northbound lanes of 59. We're having to make a turn right now, so right. apologize for uh, part of the helicopter getting in the shot. But uh, the escapees from the car are, jumped the freeway. They're over here on the southbound feeder of 59 just before Rankin. Okay, Don, we appreciate the live pictures and the reporting there from Sky IHD. We are working to gather more information as to how this even started, and we're going to definitely keep you updated on when and if they are able to track these suspects down. But for right now, we'll take a quick break. Now, breaking news. Well, three suspects are in custody after a high-speed chase in Northeast Houston. The chase happened along the East Tex Freeway. And the third suspect was just arrested near the area of Lee Road near Bush Airport as we watched these dramatic images earlier today. Eyewitness News reporter Fody Kaler just live with more of these breaking developments. Fody? Yeah, Alona, police have now gathered all of the suspects here in this parking lot, not too far away from Bush Airport. And you can see one of the suspects in this patrol car. He was one of the ones that was first arrested. And then on this side over here, just next to me, another suspect in a red shirt here. He was just brought in a couple of minutes ago. And then in that SUV over there, that is where a 15-year-old suspect is in custody right now. I talked to him just minutes ago, and he told me that he was actually inside of the vehicle with these two other suspects. He was was telling those suspects he told me to stop the car. He was not one of the ones that got out, but I want to show you now exclusive video incredible from Sky Eye HD following these suspects as they were being chased by police. They started weaving in and out of traffic. They made their way to the fast lane and then look at what they did. They get out they got out uh, onto the feeder road and then they jumped onto the HOV lane and then they ran across the southbound lanes missing oncoming cars and then finally jumped down the freeway about 15 to 20 feet before making it into a wooded area of a big search was underway to get both of these suspects on the in the air. Uh, the APD helicopter was in, or HPD helicopter was in the air and on the ground there were canine crews finally catching the suspects. This suspect here in the red shirt would not talk to me, but he was just the, one of the recent ones that was captured right now. And according to police, they don't know exactly why these three suspects were on the run, but they told me at least one of them at this point may have some warrants out for his arrest. And of course. We hope to get more information. All three of these suspects now in custody. Reporting live near Bush Airport, Foti Kalurgis, 13 Eyewitness News. Okay, Foti, thank you. You can also see more of that exclusive average speed 10 miles per hour that's because of an accident the All good right. news is that up we have a shot of a police chase right now yeah um, we're we're actually going to uh, go straight over to this rebecca we apologize for the interruption but uh we are being told that this police chase is happening on the northeast side 59 and greens road and you can see that officers are really in hot pursuit here trying to catch up with that vehicle yeah it looks like it's a uh, gray sedan right there he or she is definitely weaving in and out of traffic as uh, police officers there continue to pursue the vehicle but traffic looks like it is becoming somewhat of an issue as you see people hit their uh, brake lights right there. We're up by the airport. You can see that one exit sign right, right there. So this is the East Tex Freeway. Looks like they are headed north at this point uh, with that vehicle now in that uh, far left lane. Don Armstrong has been uh, monitoring the situation. Uh, Don, what can you tell us right now? This vehicle looks like it's on the shoulder in it. And is it going to oh, bail out right here? Run. Yep. They have suspects jumping into the HOV lane and then across the opposite lanes of traffic right in front of oncoming vehicles. You can see making it across and then jumping down. No telling how far that was right there. I know Don's doing the best he can to, to keep the camera on these two uh, men running right here. They just crossed the frontage road right there as well. Now they've made their way uh, into those tree, that tree line right there. It's, it's not clear what that area is. If there are some homes over there, 
or that's just a business frontage road right there. Let's try to get Don Armstrong to explain what he's seeing. Don, I know you can't get too close to the airport. Well, uh, we are being held up right here, uh, as a matter of fact, because of airport traffic here, which is just to our north. Uh, we've been following this chase for about 60 seconds. We were on the other uh, fire or the um, uh, accident over there on the Beltway when we got word of this chase. And uh, obviously this was headed northbound. We picked that up right there at Rankin. We're still waiting for uh, the police department to find uh, the runners from this chase that just took place and you saw uh, the car being parked over on the shoulder of 59 the east tex freeway here uh, you can see the police are there with the car and i'm sure that they uh, are in pursuit as we speak but i can't see any homes back in this area right now it looks just like woods to me uh, especially with the for sale sign this is pretty typical of uh, property that's for sale that doesn't have anything on it up here in the northeast side i can guarantee you that h